Right, okay, thank you for joining The Average Golfer. I'm down here at uh, Conway Golf Club and with Lewis Johnson, and we're gonna have a look at a few different situations on what is the best club to get that ball in a hole in the least amount of shots. I'm gonna give you three different scenarios and I want your input on each of those. So first of all, let's have a look at those different situations that you might find yourself out there on the golf course. Right, okay, so this is position number one and I want your choice, so don't forget, we've got seven iron, we've got hybrid, you've got putter or you've got wedge. And the first situation you find yourself in is a steep incline into the green and it's gonna plateau out, we've got about uh, 15 yards worth of green into the flag. So make your decision now, which club would you choose from position A? So what would you use from here?
then I hope you all got involved in what you'd have perhaps chosen. It'd probably be different for every golf fan. I think the first thing it's, it starts with is what you're most comfortable with in terms of confidence. So I'm gonna ask you that question first of all. We've played the three holes, you know where you're finished. What are you most confident with in those three scenarios? It's just the wedge, you know, the sand wedge, lob wedge, whatever, you know, I think most of the better players would go for I'm gonna feel comfortable with my wedge in any scenario. Okay. But what was really interesting was it was the same for you the one that you would feel most comfortable with. Yep. It wasn't necessarily the scenario based, it was more what we're comfortable with rather with, than... Like the, the preset idea. So in most of those situations, and so to flip that one for me and for a lot of average golfers, and it's sometimes frowned upon as well when you reach for your putter when there's uh, you know another five yards of fringe left, it's perhaps seen as a sort of... Uh, it's the, easy, it's the easy way out, but for me, I still find it to be percentage-wise probably the shot I would go for more than the other three options but on the test itself what did you find find out anything different no no i the wedge was the best but what was a what's a, i think the surprise for both of all was you were the best with the putter i was the best with the wedge what we were most comfortable with but then your your hybrid and my fairy wood yeah that's a real good option for a shot yeah it's something i like to play a little bit uh, probably more than you but well i've never played it never never um since back playing golf with Louis again he's picked it out on a few occasions and more so on the Lynx tracks that we've played so maybe more suited to that type of situation uh, where there's a bit of a firmer ground firmer running but trying it today and I've tried it on a few occasions uh, in, in recent weeks it's a real good option and one that surprised me a bit certainly over those longer distances as well where there's nothing in front of you nothing to get in the way then it gets that ball just pops it up just a little bit and then gets yeah. it running gets it on the ground quicker than sort of yeah. the seven iron the old yeah. traditional seven iron yeah you know, um, which I still like playing, but I think that, like you said, the hybrid just pings off the face. You'd have to get used to it. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. So it's, I, and I think that's where we, we go back to. It was our, our com, I'm comfortable with the wedge. You're comfortable with the putter. The reason being is. What well, you're playing most. We practice the most with yeah, those yeah, clubs, yeah, don't yeah. we? So. so it's an interesting video for me, and uh, really it's one of those ones that is, uh, apart from what we've done today, to see how we get on in those three situations, I'm more interested in the feedback and comments from you. Would you consider hybrid, for example, or three wood? Is that part of your uh, part of your armoury in your game, or are you traditionally just down to that wedge putter option? Anyway, thank you as ever for watching. Uh, it's been a fantastic day here at Conway Golf Club. Plenty more to come from here over the next coming weeks. If you've not seen it, in recent days, I've just posted about the uh, competition, the Average Golfer 2019, which is gonna be held here at Conway Golf Club. So uh, like I said, if you've not seen that, make sure you check it out. If not, we're all done for the day and uh, it's time for a nice cold pint sat on that balcony.